fly to Brazil tonight. Hold on. Hello, 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 we have a problem. We had two good starts. Got off the biggest Azul A350, now flying the smallest one, the Cessna Grand Caravan to Rio. One of the most spectacular airport setting in the world. There's literally no margin for error. Flying out of Rio today. It's been a great two days of relaxation here, but there's one big problem. It's been so chilled, I don't want to do any work. Here's the plane, gonna fly me out of Rio, out of Santos Dumont, just arrived at the gates. And it is a Brazilian made airplane, Embraer. At the gates here, I met Jose Eduardo. Uh, he's actually the ground staff of Azul Airlines. But he was telling me about how difficult in Brazil to get a job. How many years have you been trying to get a job in aviation? I've been trying for 13 years. 13 years, and 13. you succeeded now? Only now. And uh, what's your next goal? I hope to join as a flight crew soon. Very busy airfield here. Three airlines dominated here. You can see Latam, Go, and Azul around the clock coming in and out. Just sit in uh, row three here. Apparently, this is an economy space, so that ground crew was really nice. He gave me an extra legroom seat. Um, pretty impressive. There's actually got uh, PTV. I was told there's live TV on board. Um, so the Embraer is nice, two and two. There's no middle seat. Well, Santos Dumont is a uh, special airport operation. Um, have to to do a, a flight training uh, before the to operate there. It's a very run short runway, about 1,323 meters. So the takeoff have to be static takeoff. So we have to put the takeoff power with brake zone, and just when the power. Is set and we release the brake. When you land in uh, Santos Dumont, is it a, always a manual landing? When you do the big bank, you start to disengage the autopilot and land on manually? Yeah, so we, we have all this, the, the black lining um, is fl fly by uh, the RMP, like the plane flies. Right. And we have the, the visual prescribed track so all the turning here is flown manually. manually yeah and we have the 300 feet criteria to stay to, to be stabilized And a 40 minutes quick flight, very pleasant flight with snacks and uh, live TV. And here in Campinas, it's a bit like uh, in the middle of woods. Um, Sao Paulo's one hour away. This reminded me of Africa, the landscape is red. And um, in some way, this is like, feel like a secondary airport. It's full of Azul Airlines, right? Yeah, what a surprise, just arrived at the Azul hangar. Wow, how often you see an A330, <laughs> really, really tall. Without, without landing gear. Yeah, with no landing gears and all jacked up here. The work we are doing here is changing the seals from the main landing gear. So we have to remove this lighting member. And to remove this lighting member, I have to put the aircraft this high. Here, come. 
Yeah, these are the wheels. Oh, wow. This item is the strut. This is being, the slide member is being prepared to be installed again on the strut. Oh. After changing the seals. This is the structure shop. And one of the works done here is inspecting the blades of the lip engine, the engine of the A320, A321. The blades are made of carbon fiber. Wow. Smooth, huh? Smooth. Mm. And uh, just you to know, only this blade in my hands cost one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. One blade is hundred and fifty thousand dollars. This is a special room. Yes, it is. Oh, it's temperature controlled. Temperature control. This is for repairs and uh, carbon fiber structures. They have a different textures because they have different tensile uh, hardness or Oh, so this is how the carbon, stru uh, carbon yes. fiber came from, from yes. this kind of structure. Look here. Wow, this is very expensive, right? Very, very expensive. light. Yeah. Light, but expensive. expensive. Very expensive. Wow. And this one is a copper one because we have to put it inside the composite material so you can have electrical transfer through the parts. Mm. Here is the unit shop. Uh, what we mainly do here is prepare the kits for installation of the Wi-Fi and the live TV on the aircraft. Oh. Uh, two years ago, all this was being done in Melbourne, Florida, USA. And uh, we decided to bring it here to Brazil. And now we are doing our 34th installation. This is the cable for yes, internet? Yes, the cable came in raw material. Mm. So we have to cut it, mm. put the connectors, check after that the connectors, point to point. Mm. Well, the radar. Yeah, this is the nose radar. Yes, yes the nose yeah, radar. The meteor uh, radar on the nose. Our batteries are all with uh, nickel cadmium cells. Mm. So this so, is the battery cell? This is the battery oh, cell. Oh, heavy. Yeah. The, the battery box has a lot of battery cells. Yeah, yes. So, when we retire, uh, remove the battery from the aircraft, we bring it here to the shop, remove the cells from the box, clean and inspect the box, inspect the cells for condition, and uh, if one of them is not acceptable, it is replace it and scrap it. After that, we reconfigure the box and with this equipment called analyzer, mm. we make four provocations in the battery. A fast charge, a fast discharge, a slow charge, and a slow discharge. And if the battery performs well, the battery receives a certificate and can return to service. This is from ATR. This is from Embraer. This uh, is from A3. Yes, a different battery size. From because Embraer. you have a different capacities and necessities in the aircraft. 320s. 320s, ATR. ATR smaller. Yes. How many battery there is in an airplane? Well, some airplanes has one. Some airplanes has two. Some airplanes has four. It depends on the necessity of the capacity of the battery. So, but the big ones, has four. The you narrow the ones body. has the two. Body has four. The, the narrow ones has two. And the, the smaller ones, like the Cessna Caravan, has one battery. We remove the seats, the coat, the headrest, check, 
the cushion, check the condition of the cover. If needed, it is removed and uh, is replaced. After that, we clean and check the structure of the seat. It's tightening something. Yes, it's adjusting screwing. something, adjusting something. Wow. That's a lot of mechanical uh, kind of work. You know, you think the seat just like a sofa. Because that is the mechanism that uh, makes the reclining possible. Ah, that's the mechanism of yes, reclining. Yes. Recline? Working? Good. See, reclining. See the mechanism over there. Yeah, the mechanism is working from this wire, it control the recline. Sometimes when I sit and they automatically recline, that means this mechanism is broken. It's broken. Then it has to come to the shop. This is the belly. Yes. Ah, the this belly. is the A330. Yes. The belly part. The belly part. Uh, this is a nose, right? Yes. What kind of aircraft is this? A320. 320. Yeah. It oh. appears it has the dimensions of a wing, but it is a elevator. Oh. An elevator of A330. Mm. This has been repaired in these areas where oh, you see the new the, the, the new patch, the new paint here. Here too. What happened? This is made of honeycomb. Honeycomb. If the honeycomb crack, mm. it permits water to be inside. Oh no. When we have water inside the honeycomb, when the aircraft goes to cruise altitude, mm. the water freeze. Mm. And when the water freeze, it yes. expands. And when it expands, it makes the honeycomb uh, fragile. Mm. So when we do the inspection here, we're looking for areas that can permit the water to infiltrate the honeycomb and having to repair it. When I first saw this, I thought that was a wing. Actually, this is just an A330 elevator. Mr. Jorge, what, what is this? This looks like an engine cover. No, it's a reverser. 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 Wow. In the engine, we have the fan call, and after the fan call, you have the reverser. Mm. The reverser is where is where you have the device to reverse the flow of the air when you are in the landing process. These are the parts that make the reverse process. Oh. When the pilot. When the pilot reverse. Reverse the airplane. Uh -huh. Yes. It is carbon fiber. It's carbon fiber. All the all the cowlings are made today from carbon fiber. We're continuing the tour. Yes. What is this one, sir? This is a mm. paint cabin. I smelled it. Yeah. And uh, we are doing the paint shop. For those people who love the paint smell, this is the room to come in. It's full of paint smell here. Interior parts. Ah, interior. Being painted. Painted, I see. This is the beam. The beam. Yeah, this is the overhead beam yes, cover. the overhead beam cover. Uh, what, 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 what do we do here? We smooth it all, make any repairs necessary, and mm. prepare for paint. Ah, they painted already. Yes. This is new it, now. It, it's not already painted. It's super light, actually. It's super light. After the hangar tour, it's time to fly out of Brazil. Tonight, I'll be flying the A330neo of Zoo. But first, I visited their lounge at Campinas Airport, which is pretty decent, and there's plenty of food. Welcome aboard. My name is Lisandro. By my side, the first officer, um, Edu Lucas. We are with you tonight uh, to our flight 8752 to Lisbon. Uh, flight time is about 9 hours and 20 minutes. We have a very good weather uh, en route. And as well as in Lisbon, we're expecting just a few clouds and temperature around 20 degrees. The flight level is uh, initially flight level 350. And during the flight, uh, we are supposed to expect to climb to higher levels. 
and the speed is uh, Mach 82 and uh, for us it's a pleasure to have you on board have a nice flight enjoy I'm leaving Brazil on this flight tonight it was a short trip three days flown four type of aircraft on Azul's fleet the E350 the Cessna Caravan the Embraer and now the 33900 Neo I mean the Brazilian people are really cool I really had a good time here and I wish I'm gonna stay longer It was another night Atlantic crossing. Dinner was served right after takeoff. Then I went off for some sleep and woke up just before the landing. Five. 